Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a bit more of Basmod. I thought it was about time we got back into doing this. As much as I want to keep this vaguely irregular, but still uh, somewhat regular. So uh, I didn't want to leave it too long. Now, let me get back onto the correct campaign. Here we are. So, yes, last time we did... And... Thank you indeed, which I seem to remember mispronouncing once or twice. I've done... Drill and I. Indeed. I don't know why the uh, voices for the uh, original levels are so much louder, but never mind. Uh, I did Drill and Night uh, off in my own time, of course, because we did that in a prior custom uh, levels uh, video, which I linked in the description of the previous one, should you wish to go back and see that. So now we've got access to... Path to power. And... A breath of fresh air. Now, I assume Path to Power comes first rather than Breath of Fresh Air, because Breath of Fresh Air, you of course have to build a support station, and Path to Power, you have to build a power station. But I have an additional resource that can come in handy for helping me figure this out. So if I go back here to these uh, older versions of these bad mod, Baz mod ones, apparently we're supposed to do Rubble Trouble next, which is a problem, because we haven't got Rubble Trouble then. But no, never mind. It doesn't matter. Okay, maybe that maybe the ordering of the levels there isn't as good as isn't as uh, good a... a a, a list to go from as I thought. Let's just do this one. Okay, the walls of the cabin are unstable and may need reinforcing. It strikes me I should probably read these things a bit more carefully because, of course, the bad mod, Baz mod ones are, are slightly different. Why is that coming up with the standard mouse? I've never seen it do that before. Never mind. Um, so this time, instead of just the power station, we also want a support station and a geological centre. Interesting. Okay, so there is a bit more to this. I was wondering whether we um, would just need uh, to get a bit of moolah, but, um, and by moolah I mean energy crystals because they're the closest thing to a currency we've got in this. Uh, in this funny old place of ours, but um, yeah, so indeed there is uh, there is a little bit more that needs doing than last time. The cavern doesn't look that much bigger. In fact, it looks smaller. To be completely frank with you, um, I feel like it should go out in this direction a little bit more compared to the um, compared to the other one. So that's a little bit of a surprise, but. Um, but never mind, it doesn't matter, it's good to be back in playing this game and um, exploring a little bit more of what Baz has to offer us, he says, pressing the wrong button. So, um... <laughs> I own a pickle here, because on the one hand I want to open the, uh... Yes, I want to open the old radar there and have a little look at the rest of the map in order to see what we're likely to find, but I feel like that may spoil it a little bit, because of course all of our people are, um are already geological experts. I've also realised I've got um, plenty of air, so there's no reason not to bring down a few additional peeps, including our uh, our most visually obvious geological expert. Is Axel's face still missing? I don't know why I expect Axel's face to change, because the game hasn't been updated since the last time I played, but Axel's face is still missing, as, uh, as tragic as that is. Can we get enough stuff, please, to upgrade this? Because we need to... Um, we need to start getting a bit of Dornamar going. I also kind of want to move this. I didn't want to upgrade that, did I? Because I wanted to move this first so that I don't blow it to high heaven when I, um... When I use the dynamite to blast all these bits out here. Because if I remember correctly, at least in the original uh, formation of the mission, there were a couple of uh, energy crystals. That's the word that I'm looking for. The other word that I would like to look for is music, because I remembered something in the middle of playing the last video that I completely forgot to ever show you or, or tell you about. So they've added in other types of music that you can have. So um, obviously we've got the, the high quality uh, versions for the original tracks, or you can have the original ones if you want, or there are some other ones. Um, I don't know, for a little while, let's, uh, let's turn those ones off, and let's have some Lego Racers music. Oh man, that brings back memories. Memories of about um, a couple of weeks ago, which is something I'll explain in a minute. But um, 
Man, I don't know how, how loudly that's coming across, it's quite quiet. But um the old menu music from Lego Races 2, as best I uh, as best I can remember it. But yeah, they've added in um they did this ages ago, this is no recent thing, this is just a thing that I completely forgot to tell you about it, uh repeatedly, which was like really stupid um of me, but you know. If if um if you came in here expecting me to be competent and able to remember things, then I'm afraid I'm going to horribly and endlessly disappoint you. But never mind, that's the wrong thing. I don't want to be building that. I want to be building this. Is that going to be far enough away? Kitty, oh, that looks weird to look straight down there like that. Um. Yeah, yeah, that should be all right if we blow this one out. So I'll put a piece of power path there, and then we'll see if we can um see if we can uh if we can manage that. Let's bring down some more people. Yes. An additional person, please. And another additional person, please. Thank you. Could anybody go and build this piece of power? Probably not, because you've all run out of ore, haven't you? Which is what I've just realised, which is rather silly of me. And by the attempted construction of this, it means I'm not going to have enough ore in order to upgrade my... my tool store, even when I get the new one. So that wasn't hugely brainy of me, was it? But never mind. You can't have everything particularly when you're as stupid as me. In fact, when you're as stupid as me, it's very difficult to have anything at all. But never mind. <laughs> so yeah, I thought we could, uh, at least for some of it, listen to uh, some slightly different music. Um, it's not just this track, I should emphasize. I, I'm pretty sure there's there's multiple pieces of, uh, multiple pieces of different music from the different, um, from the other sort of classic uh, Lego games from the 90s. At least I think they're all from the 90s. I can't actually remember when, when the Racers games came out, but um, it doesn't really matter, do it? What matters is that we've got nothing but hard rock around us, and there's no crystals here, which means I really, really need to upgrade this thing and uh, and start getting us to work on this. There we are. Let's get that up to level 3, and then we'll get rid of this, which means it was a complete waste of the 5 ore that we plunged into it, but never mind! We will pretend that that did not happen, and that everything is absolutely categorically fine, and the frame rate is not squiffy. What is it? Sorry. I was playing something else today, and the frame rates were being a bit squiffy. Um, the other graphic level is on three. The gra hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. When I was doing the original, um, original campaign videos, I used to keep the graphical setting on three. Uh, for the sake of the uh, recording, it seemed to make the frame rate a bit better when I did that, but um, seemingly that's not quite enough here. Seems to be alright most of the time. I don't know. I haven't got the faintest idea what's going on. I only know that we can't find any crystals, which is a little bit of a pickle. In fact, it's quite a large pickle, but never mind. It's sadly not the kind that you can spread on your sandwiches. But never mind. I shall stop making the same crass joke over and over again, and I shall observe a bit of demolition. Well, yes. Sadly, they don't have the shock waves, um, which they used. To, I should probably actually hold off on that until they've cleared this up here. Um, yeah, the, if I remember correctly, they used to have a little shock wave that came out of the dynamite when it um, when it all slightly exploded. So uh, it's a little bit of a shame that uh, that that hasn't been implemented. But I presume that that will be um, that will be coming along uh, later, if indeed I am remembering correctly that it was there. Oh gosh. Okay, so this track is from the first LEGO Racers game. I don't, I don't remember the first LEGO Racers game as well as I remember the um, the second one, because I played the second one an awful lot in my childhood. I played the first one a little bit. I remember the first one being significantly more difficult than the second game. So, um, being the small, incompetent child that I was, that then grew into a large, incompetent man, I have... Uh, I don't think I played the original one quite as much because uh, it was quite difficult. Hooray! We found some crystals! Excellent. <laughs> Never mind. Um, there is just... Well, just because, you know, I don't know how much there is really for me to talk about right here and right now regarding the actual level itself, because obviously we have seen most of this sort of thing before, but... Um, That seems to have been quite tactical in where he puts his crystals, but never mind. Why am I telling people to, uh, to, to clear that? That's actually a really dangerous and stupid thing to do, particularly when we don't have a... Uh, we don't have a... Um... Yeah, proven my point. Thank you. I didn't realise that Rock had such a sense of uh, serendipity. Don't matter. <clears throat> At least we've got plenty of ore and we can upgrade everything that we need to. 
Way to go, you constructed the power station. Now you can construct the support station and the geological center. I shall try to do that and I'll try not to muck everything up in the process. Um, let's pop that there so that it's slightly closer to where they'll be working and then we'll put a piece of, um, we'll put a piece of path there so that we can then build that when we are about ready for it. Sorry, I'm just having weird random blast of nostalgia as, as, as random pieces of music um, come back to me. I think I mentioned this once in a previous uh, a previous Baz mod video, but um, I get a lot more nostalgic for sounds than I do for sights. I don't know whether it's the same for anyone else, but um, pieces of music or, or, or voice lines, things like that, are uh, are always a lot more evocative of uh, of my memory than. Uh, images or, or, or sights are. Not sure why that is, possibly because my eyesight is quite terrible and my hearing is also quite terrible, perhaps marginally less terrible on a, on a scale of um, zero to absolutely appalling. It's um, perhaps a little bit lower on that scale, I don't know. But let us blast our way through here and see what we can find. What is that? Oh, that is excitement, that is what that is! Okay, well it wasn't quite as exciting as I thought it would be, you know, it wasn't quite as exciting as discovering a new continent. <sighs> Which I imagine must have been rather, rather thrilling. Although the silly thing is about history, most of the time when people have discovered new continents, they didn't even realise that they had discovered a new continent. But, um, never mind, that isn't the point. We're not here to have a history lesson, we're here to, um, we're here to play an old video game. Speaking of old video games, uh, I mentioned, of course, that I... <laughs> I remember the LEGO Races 2 menu music from a couple of weeks ago, rather than many years ago, uh, back when I played it back in my childhood. And that's because I wanted to tell you about a little something, and sort of ask your opinion about uh, something regarding sort of the future of, um, of this series. Now, what is going to be hidden behind here? Well, it wasn't green, which was a bit of a shame. However, if it had been green, it might have been a slimy slug, and that wouldn't have made me in the slightest bit happy. So perhaps I am highly grateful for the fact that there isn't a uh, there isn't something green behind it. Um, yeah. So as one or one or two of you might be uh, aware, I've recently been working on a little project in order to get um, to get an old XP computer uh, running uh, and make recordings from it for the sake of uh, sort of playing uh, retro games and things uh, for, for videos and for the channel, uh, should that ever um, be a thing that I wanted to do. And one of the games that I've got running on it uh, is in fact the original uh, LEGO Rock Raiders uh, in a more functional form than the version I have it on this computer. So. Um, if at any point in the uh, future uh, I or you wanted uh, videos on the original Rock Raiders to be made rather than uh, always on Manic Miners, that is a thing that we could do. So um, that is an option. Another thing that I'm also a little bit curious about looking into is the PlayStation version of Rock Raiders, which I don't know very much about, but uh, from the extremely limited information on it that I have, it's quite a la quite a largely different game from the um, from the PC version. Now, if I remember correctly, as much as I am enjoying these Funkylicious tunes, we've actually got the music from the PlayStation one here. Pretty sure this piece is actually in the PC version as well, but never mind. That doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm sort of interested in getting the PlayStation version of, of, of Rock Raiders uh, going, because I, myself, have never played the PlayStation version of Rock Raiders, despite being chemically addicted to playing the PC version. So, um, obviously, in terms of making... well, just in terms of getting it running in the first place, and also in terms of uh, uh, making any videos on it as well, if that's something that people would be interested in, in, in seeing between here and eternity. Um, uh, obviously, of course, that, that entails me sort of getting hold of a, an old PlayStation 1 and um, getting that up and running and interfacing with a capture card and all the rest of that jazz. But um, putting the technical stuff to one side, um, essentially what I'm trying to say is, is that something that anybody would possibly be interested in. Uh, I mentioned this in the in the annual talking video that went out a number of weeks ago, but um, I thought I'd put it, a little mention of it here as well for the sake of... Um, uh, for the sake of sort of putting it here, since um, sort of somebody that watches Baz Mod is perhaps more likely to um, to, to be. What, why is this thing still not getting built? Could I turn that thing off, please? 
Yes, that's absolutely fine. I mean, this isn't going to be good enough because they're going to build it, but it's not going to be powered, which means they're still not going to be able to get their infernal sandwiches. But never mind the infernal sandwiches for two shakes of the lamb's proverbial tail, or possibly the pig's proverbial tail, since I presume those, I've always presumed that those were ham sandwiches. Although I don't know, um... I don't know why, frankly, they could just be uh, slices of tomato sandwiches. I don't know. Maybe when we get into space, we all turn vegetarian. Goodness only knows. But, um, yeah, I, I, I really don't know anything about the PlayStation 1 version, so I don't know if it's different enough in order to actually merit making, um, making, uh, any, any videos on, or, uh, I don't know whether I'd, like, play through the whole thing, if people wanted to see that, or, um, just do like a couple of, uh, of smaller videos on it perhaps just sort of looking at it and seeing how uh, how it compares to the PC version but as from my incredibly incredibly limited understanding of of what the PlayStation version is like because I've never played it I've never seen it be played I've never read anything about it and I I don't know where I have my vague impressions of it from but I have vague impressions of it from somewhere that uh, I think I think it's not like top-down sort of resource management and stuff. I think instead you're like managing the individual rock raiders uh, on more sort of specific objectives and things. Uh, a bit like the Run the Gauntlet mission compared to um, this sort of stuff and you're not sort of focusing on crystals and stuff. So as I understand it, it is uh, rather different. So, if any of you have any knowledge about the PlayStation version, um, and can give me a sort of a spoiler-free, uh, rough impression of how different it is, whether it is largely different or it's actually more similar than I realise, uh, and also whether any of you have any interest in seeing that uh, uh, in terms of uh, future videos, then um, I should pop that down there, I suppose, now that we've got this thing built. Um, yes, I, I would be grateful for getting your input uh, on that. Um, Obviously, if we did make videos on the PlayStation version, that would probably be uh, off into the far-flung future, uh, either after we finish with Basmod, or, um, I don't know, we get like halfway through Basmod and we take a break from Basmod for a while and we do, um, we do, um, we do the PlayStation version instead, because this track seems a bit different. Can I turn the sound of the music up a bit? Because, um, it's a little bit quiet. How do I do this? Here we are. Yeah, this is vastly different. Never heard, um... Never heard this piece before. Okay, well the PlayStation version has different music in it. Quite cool music actually. I rather like this. At least you've got a couple of seconds without me yammering over. I'm really sorry that everyone's so infernally hungry. It's just, no, you great big silly Billy. Can I take this off? I would have been so much happier if you could have just popped that in the power station and then you could have had your bleeding sandwiches. But never mind, you can't have everything, and if there's anything in this world you can't have, it's sandwiches when people have the wrong priorities. Never mind. This is a bit scary, this has like sort of battle music. We were fighting some, um, some vicious beast. I didn't realise I could make my rock raiders break dance. That's curious. I actually had no idea that I was able to do that. Okay, this is, uh... This is interesting, actually, because they seem to have balanced the number of crystals very, very carefully here. I imagine there's probably one seam, or slightly less than one seam, actually. Um, or rather, like, one seam's worth of crystals, I should say. Or four, to use an integer, which is more universally assimilatable as information regarding to numerical values, instead of talking about absolute infernal rubbish. I, uh, I presume there's going to be about four, because we need two more to build that, and maybe if there were two more, then it, most stuff could be powered. But um, it seems they've balanced it quite well, that they've just given you what you need, uh, rather than um, rather than anything more. So let me take uh, let me take command of you for a moment to make sure that you do not um, you do not do mischief. Just do a little bit of mending. Oh, I can't get over that face. I can't get over the eyebrow, right? It's the eyebrow that does it for me. I know that isn't the Brixter's proper face. I'm aware of that. The um, there isn't a uh, there, there isn't a Brixter's proper face, nor a Brixter's proper hair, uh, hat, not hair hat, um, in the uh, in the little store of bits where you can buy various uh, odds and ends for the making of custom peeps. Unfortunately, uh, at the moment, at least, I I presume that they'll probably uh, bring them in. Uh, 
later, since, at least to my mind, the Brickster is one of the most uh, iconic little characters of the uh, of the LEGO Island series and the uh, 90s LEGO games more widely, really. Um, mischievous little servants here that he was. So um, I hope that his little face and his little hat will come in so that we can have... Um, Now that is an efficient method of locomotion. <laughs> it's also a rather strange one, but never mind. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. We, we, there must be more crystals. There's probably a, 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 a scene just behind this wall, I reckon, but I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to uh, look behind it with the radar, because I don't want to spoil it. But um, I reckon this will be the last thing we need, and it will just be a case of ferrying the... Uh, ferrying the, uh, the crystals back. But yeah, I, I'd like to make a proper little um, Brickster, Brickster character at some point, especially since I'm pretty sure he's referenced in one of the uh, little sort of um, tips that come up on the bottom of the screen uh, when you're looking at the briefing. So um, it would be nice to make a cute little Brickster person. Ooh. Oh goodness! There is more than I previously anticipated. And another scary soundtrack. Is it just me or is the PlayStation music all a bit scary? <laughs> I suppose that's kind of fitting given that the uh, vast majority of things that I actually play on this channel are of course little uh, little indie horror games which are uh, often made in the old uh, PS1 era uh, visuals and, um, and sort of mechanics and things so I suppose it would only be fitting that the PlayStation would be associated with spooky things. I do like the smoke. It's kind of uh, it's kind of, it's kind of nice for giving you a little moment of anticipation after you destroy something and you don't know whether you've uh, you don't know whether um, there's something scary on the other side of it or not. But at the same time, I kind of uh, I kind of like to not have to wait just in case I've uncovered a monster or something else scary. Hooray! We found lots of extra crystals. This is good. There does seem to be um, an awful lot to mine out here, so. Um, Although I, how many? Okay, now we seem to have found the actually. Uh, oh, kitty aunt, I can't give you sandwiches to mend you either. Oh wow, okay, so there's loads of crystals here. Okay, so they're not just giving me the exact amount that I need. They're um, they are um, being more generous than that is what I'm trying to say. My brain isn't being generous with the number of words that it's sending out of my mouth. But uh, other than that, everything seems to be absolutely fine. So uh, it was just making me wait until I uh, had discovered a bit more. I haven't seen this in ages. I haven't seen this in literally ages. Um, can, can we just give everybody sandwiches, please? Because I feel like it's so cruel for them to not be given sandwiches. So um, there we go. All better. Can I power this up as well? Because um, if I remember correctly, yes, it sort of, uh, sort of pivots twiddles or turns or rotates, that's a better word that I was looking for and failing to find, um, uh, as it goes along. And we can upgrade this as well so that we can see the whole heckin' map, that's what we can do. Uh, oh, goodness! See, this is why I wasn't looking at the map earlier, we have a big big, big lake or something on the far side of that, how exciting. Uh, let me upgrade this so we can see a little bit further into, um, into the what is going on over there. Can I upgrade it any further? You can upgrade it to level 5? Giddy up, that is a lot of upgrading you can do. I think, is that the most you can upgrade any um, any building to? It's probably... It might be tied with the... Uh, what's it called? The ore refinery. This, this long fellow over here, which um, you can upgrade several times for the sake of reducing the number of pieces of ore you need for the production of a stud. So... I would imagine it's tied for that, because I think you can upgrade that four times. Because it goes down from needing five pieces of ore, to needing four pieces of ore, to needing three pieces of ore, to needing two pieces of ore. No, so you don't upgrade that three times, you only bring it to level five, since it starts at level one. So, no, that probably means the geological center is the thing which you can upgrade the most. Isn't that exciting? I guess it does make sense, given that it is, um... 
the whole point of the geological center is to see things which are far away and uh, obviously you can't exactly move it in the same way that you can move say the scanners on a uh, on a larger bit. Okay, they're giving me heaps and heaps of crystals. That's nice. I guess that would kind of make sense. It would be a bit weird if uh, if in Drill and I they asked you to get whatever it was, 30 or 40 crystals? I forget how many it was. Um, or it might have been 50 crystals, I can't remember. Uh, I have vague recollections of saying when I was doing Drill and I that the, um, as in when I was doing it in the video, not when I was doing it between this one and the last one. Uh, when I was doing it in the custom levels videos, I have vague recollections of saying that the number of crystals you needed in Driller Knight was, well, the Baz mod version of Driller Knight was the same as the number of crystals you needed in Rocky Horror, which of course was 50. So, um, oh goodness, a little river. This is cute and nice. Is it just me, or does the water texture look like it's got dimples instead of waves? Never mind, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's just collect up these crystals and then we can have a look at, um, we can have a look at a breath of fresh air. I don't think I should need to deactivate anything, but um, in fact, I might get a little truck for the sake of doing things in an adorable manner. There we are. I should get a little truck and I should do a little bit of driving. Here we go. In fact, let's do a bit of driving from first person. There we go. You see the little steering wheel go around in its small, adorable manner. Pick up a few. I've realised a significant disadvantage of doing this in third person, or rather, a significant disadvantage of doing this in first person over doing it in third person, is of course I haven't got the faintest idea how many crystals I've actually got on board. So I presume that I've dropped them all off, but goodness only knows whether I actually have or not. Because of course, in third person, you can see your little um, your little truck bed in order to see what you've got, but um, you can't do that here unless. No, there's no other screens for that, because um, here, it's slightly hidden by this delete button, but um, you can see a little measure here which tells you uh, what you've got uh, to hand, so uh, maybe if they added something like that to the bottom, maybe in that little uh, empty bar uh, there underneath the health meter, then perhaps that could um, that could be useful just to make the first person uh, driving of, of things like this uh, slightly uh, fairer. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I might, I don't matter. What matters is that there are many crystals, and I wish to pop them in here. He says, thank you, there we are. Slight lag, it would seem. Slight lag on the old controls of my little truck here. Okay, let's watch these last few get trotted in, and then we can, uh, then we can wander off and have uh, a little look at a breath of fresh air. I do like this music, though. This PlayStation music is really nice. It's more sort of grungy and a bit kind of dark and scary so um if it has got vastly different music hopefully that implies the playstation version is vastly different as well right then i reckon that is about everything and i always forget where the exit button is because they keep moving it there we are we built loads of things and then we took them away again never did quite understand why we did that but never mind i'm ever so glad excellent Get just ignore this number here, right? Ignore these two numbers here, which tell you how much I play this game out of, uh, out of, uh, out of camera. Right, never mind. Um, uh, I am going to take a quick five-minute break, as I did uh, b between uh, 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 these two, um, for the sake of my voice, and um, then we'll have a look at. Indeed, in fact, I may go out for one myself. in the evacuated caverns has been quickly used up. We must urgently construct a support station to supply more air. Use the tool store to transport down some more rock raiders to assist you in building the support station. Warning! The more rock raiders you transport down to help, the faster your air supply will run out. Okay, so they want a geological map of the surrounding area, so a geological centre must be built. So do you want me to actually map the whole heckin' place out, or do you just want me to, um... Do you just want me to, um, build the thing? I don't know, but, um, I'm not crazy for thinking the, the tool store used to be, like, there instead, am I? I'm probably crazy for thinking that. I must confess I haven't played this, um this particular level in a little bit of a while but um but never mind i've been out for my breath of fresh air and now we can enjoy our own communal breath of fresh air no no not communal breath that sounds awful that's like we're all breathing each other's air that is 
very unpleasant and nasty and I don't want to think about that and I really wish I hadn't said that and I sincerely apologise to everybody. Okay then, never mind any of that, let's get on with playing the bleeding game. Alright then, so, A Breath of Fresh Air, so how is this one going to be uh, different then, beyond just needing to construct the geological museum? It doesn't say anything about mapping out the... Um, doesn't say anything about mapping out the whole cavern, so I presume that that isn't uh, a thing that we actually need uh, to do. I am slightly conscious of something. As the last level demonstrated quite effectively, Baz is uh, rather tactical, it would seem, in where he's placed the, um, the crystals in each level. Now, as I recall, with the original layout of crystals, you didn't really need to go very far in order to get just enough to build your support station, but now... Now, of course, Baz may have changed that in order to force you out into uh, further locations so that you have to be a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more uh, rapid about uh, about this. And you can't stand around uh, being a big old lazy bones as I so enjoy uh, being. I think there's usually at least one or two crystals in here. Okay, well there's one. That's a starting point. It's better than the awful levels you play when there's none anywhere. Is this land flat enough? That land probably is not flat enough, is it? No, apparently all of this land is absolutely lovely. We've got to go through there. I see. Baz is not only strategic, he is also very naughty. Alright, fair enough, I can live with this. So, um, we obviously we used to be able to get through here. Yeah, and he's only added a tiny little, uh, a tiny little wall though in order to, um, in order to, uh, stop you from going through. So that's highly sneaky, isn't it? There we are, good. I just want to just quickly squeeze the uh, upgrade in when we had uh, five bits of ore so that we could start blowing things up uh, before they started moving all of the ore out for the sake of building the teleport pad because I didn't do it in a very clever order because they're not very clever. So I will try blasting out these bits and bobs over here and working my way through some of this, but the easiest thing to do would probably be to go straight through there and just sort of walk around, walk around the lake and then uh, uh, come at this from... Uh, from behind and see if we can get the crystals uh, uh, here a bit quicker for the sake of building the support station because of course we're going to need um, six two for the two two for the power station three f to, for building the support station and then another one for powering it so we're going to need quite a few more than we've currently got so we're gonna have to mine out some of this I think and try to push through here uh, the problem is these distances, these distances are going to be real long for the amount of time that we've got, so I feel like I should have one person, one specific person that's off working off a bit further away while everyone else can continue to try and uh, blast out what we've got here in case there are more resources there that we can, uh, we can make good use of. Anything around here? Nothing yet, no. Let me get that reinforced and that cleared up so that we can blast out without anyone getting hurt. Because we have to be careful, of course, without a support station. We can't mend people up, and I don't really want to build a uh, a canteen, which will, of course, take uh, take a crystal, and I have to be very... Uh, I was going to say a word beginning with C. I'll say a different word beginning with C. Cautious, that would be uh, a better word. Or frugal, that's a much better word to use. I like the word frugal. It sounds ridiculous. Um... We must be frugal with our crystals and not waste them. So, although that would give us, uh, although that would give us the, the 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 health that we need, of course, it won't give us the air that we need. Um, I I think I'm gonna reinforce this wall and then try and bust through here as soon as it is done because it's 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 evident to me now that we're not even gonna get close to uh, the number of crystals that we need from this area. So I'm going to set that to blow, and I'm going to set that to blow, and then um, then everyone's going to go off and do this, which isn't quite what I wanted, but never mind, you can't have everything. Well, at least Jet is staying around to do a bit of uh, staying around to do a bit of work instead of scampering off, probably because I only asked four bits of wall to get mended rather than uh, 
rather than five. Uh, <laughs> this is fun though, this is why I am... Um, this is why I think doing the Basmod levels would be quite uh, quite entertaining, because although the meat and potatoes of the mission is of itself the same, it is also uh, you are you you are not in the greatest of health, my dear friend. I might send you off to do something different or find someone who's in slightly better uh, physical nick. Okay, so we've got enough to build, we're saving anything we might find in there, we've got enough to build the power station, but no more. Alright, um... That's weird, weren't you already over here? And then I say you to mind that. Instead of you wandering... Never mind, it doesn't matter. I just, Hooray, how many? Just one, okay. Well that's enough to get us going, at least. So let's break our way through here and, and see what we find. But yes, this is a, this is a little stressful. Because, of course, we have only got 12 minutes to get the air done. And it's a little nerve-wracking. Oh, hooray. Oh, good! It brought me a, a few extra seconds of air. That's lovely. Um, I think I just want to blast straight through here so we can find some new crystals and get access to them. Um, bought you some extra time to get your support station running. Indeed! That's nice, actually, that the, uh, the Baz levels have that little tutorial in there, because I have noticed that. I've definitely noticed it in Manic Miners. I don't know if it was the case in the original Rock Raiders that the uh, discovery of a new cavern would give you extra air because um, it was never measured in a numerical way. You just had this little uh, this little meter here to give you uh, to give you an indication. So it's a little tricky to actually measure that uh, in the original game. Hooray! We found one. What one? All right, Gideon. I would have expected to find a few more by now. Never mind. There's still a rock raider here. We'll continue to mine everything out. Um, where is everyone else? Oh, they came over here to clear all this stuff out. Seriously, we do have slightly more pressing tasks to handle at the moment. Okay, how are we getting on here? We're still we're still missing a barrier, which is bizarre. I don't know why that's happened. Is is this a bit bugged? Can I dispense one? I dispense with all of this. Um, may I have this, please? I should do a bit of building myself. If the rest of you lot can't do it, I should do it myself. Let me plonk this down. Put down barrier. Yes, indeed. There we are. It has elongated itself most appreciably. Oh, get down. This tense music is not helping my. It's not helping my nerves. But yeah, it's it's, it's a bit nerve-wracking to know that. Of course, there are probably less crystals, and um, and of course, I have near baldies where they are. Um, so it's a little, it is a little nerve-wracking to uh, to know that I might run out of air in a minute, and then we might all slightly, completely, utterly suffocate, which would be less than optimal. To die here in this frozen wasteland. Okay, there we are. We've got that built now. So as soon as it lets me click on it, thank you. Then I can um, I can turn power for that off, please. There we go. Uh, now I want to build, yeah, go straight to the support station and get that under construction. So we've got two, so we need to find two more. Arr, that's two more than we've got. Where in, where between here and Aberystwyth precisely are you going, my small friend? Please do a job that is nearby, rather than the job which is 6,729 bazillion miles away. Ugh, oh, dear. Um something that I was thinking of um, in, 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 in the little break that I took. Uh, I was remembering that this is of course the first ice mission that... Um, this is the first mission that is taken take takes place in the ice uh, levels or biome or whatever you want to call it. And um, I was reminded of a little uh, another tip that came up at the bottom of the screen when you're looking at the at the uh, briefing which says that there were no uh, gameplay differences between the uh, rocks, the lava, and the ice uh, levels. Uh, at the moment, it said, so I don't know whether they're leaving the door open for something that they've got planned for the future, or they're just leaving the door open in case they come up with some ideas for the future. And I was trying to think how you could make the um, you could make the gameplay different. I know this is like the sixth time I've said this, but this PlayStation music is actually really, really cool. I hope it sounded this good actually on the PlayStation, because um, if you compare the original Rock Raider music, and then the sort of the more, well, it's not remastered, but the non-compressed versions that we have for Manic Miners, um, they are appreciably different. So I'm, uh, 
I'm hoping that the PlayStation uh, was was playing the music uh, this good. I don't know what the sound on the PlayStation was like. Probably depended on what speakers you were using. Now that I think about it. But um, what was I talking about? Oh yes, gameplay differences between different um, different biomes, for want of another word. Um, I guess the most obvious thing would probably be the temperature, perhaps. Uh, sort of try to utilize that because of course you've got the fatigue that they're all currently experiencing where they haven't been eating sandwiches for a while so maybe you could sort of link that in and because obviously in the cold environments they get cold and in the hot environments of the lava area they'd get uh, they'd get hotter so what I was initially thinking is you could um, have them with like a temperature meter if you like and the longer they spend out doing jobs then like the hotter or the colder they get depending on what level they're in uh, and then eventually that sort of slows them down they have to come back to base in order to either cool off or warm up depending on um, depending on the level but then I kind of realized that that would be essential I really don't want you going off and mining anything to be completely frank because you're far too vulnerable um, yeah, I, I, I realised that although that would be an interesting idea, it would also be completely pointless because it would work exactly the same way as the fatigue for the sandwiches work, in that they'd go out, they'd do a bit of work, they'd get hungry, they'd need to come back and, and get mended up by a building. So, um... And it would also be offset by the vehicles, of course, because in the vehicles they don't get uh, fatigued, because of course they're not moving around as much, so uh, they don't get as tuckered. But of course that wouldn't, um... That would do exactly the same thing for the temperature, because of course if they're in a vehicle, then they're not uh, getting as cold or as warm, because they're in a either in a vaguely isolated, uh, sort of enclosed spot, if they're in like, the cabin of a large vehicle, or they might be like sitting next to a relatively warm engine if they're on a smaller vehicle. So it wouldn't really achieve anything, is what I'm trying to say with my uh, temperature idea. But I would like to see some sort of differences uh, with, within the within the different levels. Um, because really the only difference that I can think of is the lava monsters themselves, which are much tougher than the ice monsters or the rock monsters. Which, uh, I think, I don't know if it says anywhere, I find a, find a guinea pig. Where's a guinea pig? Hello Axel, you'll be my guinea pig for the day. Is there anything about here? No, it just says high damage, okay, so it doesn't give like a, a number or anything. If I remember correctly, a standard blast from a laser on a rock monster does about 30 damage, I think? No, that seems far too much. It must do much less than 30 damage. I feel like maybe, I don't know, it does like 10 damage or something. I don't know. It's literally what I'm trying to say is, as you already undoubtedly know, lava monsters have take less damage uh, from from things like that. So I, I, was, I was really thinking we would have found some more crystals by now. Let me start blasting out a bit of stuff over here, and I'll send some peeps over to mine out some of this. Um... Uh, yes, yeah, so obviously the, the lava environments are a bit more difficult in the sense that you have the lava there which can erode your base and, and do damage to things and of course you have the lava monsters which are stronger but the, the ice levels don't have anything like that. Um, trying to think what else you could do really. I suppose it's, it's an icy level, you could have sort of ice appearing in places like maybe sort of like an ice version of the lava perhaps, I don't know, I'm just sort of blue sky thinking here, or, or blue ground thinking, I suppose perhaps more more topper clay. Um, yeah, maybe like icy patches on the floor perhaps that um, they maybe slip up on and they sort of trip over, like when they trip over the spiders and they take a little bit of damage and it slows them down and they drop whatever they're carrying. Maybe something uh, similar could happen in sort of patches of ice that um, I don't really think that ice erodes the same way that lava does, but um, that would... Um, that would perhaps be a thing that you could do, sort of uh, little patches of ice that would get in the way and, uh, and trip people up. Where's that crystal that's been found? Where is that? I don't know. Let me go to it. Oh, it's there! It's very convenient that I actually blew that up. Why are you carrying a piece of ore when there's something far more vital that needs handling? Let me get all of this reinforced before everyone gets horribly dead. So, that would be enough to build it, which is lovely, but we also need to... Um, we just need to power the thing. Again, this one seems like it's been carefully tailored to just give you exactly what you need, rather than um, rather than being at all excessive with it. Which I kind of like, because it seems like the objectives have been created so that when you achieve the objective, you've pretty much explored most of the cavern. Like, 
if there's 50 crystals available to be uh, found in the cavern, then the objective will be 50 crystals or just shy of it. Rather than, is this going to break off into another area under here? I feel like that might do that. Hooray! There's no electricity, but never mind. Um, yeah, because of course, when Baz Mod was just a mod for the original Rock Raiders, I presume that there wasn't a, an option to carry on playing the level after you've completed the objectives. I don't know that there wasn't. There might have been another thing that they. Um, another idea. Ooh. Most interesting, a little truck. Um, hopefully there'll be some crystals in there, otherwise I could just drive the truck back and then beam it up and we could get the crystals out of it that way. Um, but I'd rather not do that if it's not necessary. Um, yes, so a uh, mod might have had the, the option to carry on playing uh, levels after you've completed all the objectives, but it seems like they're tailoring the objectives so that once you've completed them, you are finished with the mission, rather than um, leaving a lot of the level uh, un unexplored. So, yeah, there is only one here, which is a shame, so I'm going to um, I'm going to drive this little crystal back, as small and adorable and bright as it is. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I generally don't like uh, sort of games with time limits. Oh no, this will be enough, isn't it? Why am I thinking I need more than one? I, I have no idea. Sorry, that must have been horribly confusing when I started yammering on about that rubbish. There we are, we've got lots more oxygen now. Good, good, good. Good, so now we can just mine out the last few little bits and bobs and uh, and see uh, what see what we find. Let me uh, put a little bit of dynamite down uh, here so we can get to that a bit uh, a bit quicker. I have to take control of somebody uh, a bit more um, forcefully, otherwise they're just going to go off and get sandwiches, which um, is a bit cruel of me to deny them the opportunity to get sandwiches. But um, I do want to uh, I do want to. Uh, Pick up the pace a little tiny bit, or at least get close enough to this that we can uh, we can have a look on the radar. Hmm. Sorry, I could hear a funny noise there for a second. It sounded like a it sounded like a high pitched squeaking noise. I was trying to figure out whether that was coming through the. Um... All right, actually, so you've more than lunch sandwiches now. I was trying to figure out whether that was coming from the from the music or whether there were some bats but uh, there do not seem to be any little uh, any little mischievous bats around uh, at the moment which is a little bit of a shame I rather like the um, I mean don't get me wrong the bats are an enormous pain in the arse but they are sort of slightly cute uh, and endearing in a, in a strange way like you like them when they're not around because you have fond memories of them because you don't remember the more horrible parts of them the way that they constantly disrupt your ability to make anything when you're trying to move resources around your base in order to construct buildings which provide you with life-giving oxygen speaking of which i really need to learn to breathe a little bit more I'm kidding. <laughs> I, 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 I do wish sometimes the allocation of tasks was a little bit more smart for want of a better word in that um you know, he gave the dynamite job to to um, to Sparks here, who was all the way over here, instead of waiting a few seconds longer and then giving it to Jet, who was uh, who was much closer. But um, never mind, don't I might bring down a few um, bring down a few additional peeps for the sake of getting these last few things. Um, these last few things uh, uh, mined out, dynamited out, blown out, blown up. Goodness knows what I'm trying to say. Let's. Uh, Let's go for the... I, I kind of don't want to get rid of that piece. I'd rather get rid of that piece, that piece, and that piece, because that's going to be slightly more efficient. But uh, if I do get rid of that piece or that piece, they're going to be slow getting away on the rubble. So, um... So, never mind. Let's see what we can find through here. Looks like there could be something else hidden behind here, uh, potentially, if there's anything... Uh, if there's anything sneaky behind here. Let's see if I can fit both on, both in camera at the same time. Yes, there is something sneaky. What have we over here? A crystal. Good. Before you go off and and, and, and and not do anything, let me uh, let me set him to clear a little bit more rubble. I doubt there'll be any sort of new caverns behind here or anything. Let's have a look. It does strike me I'm supposed to be building a geological sensor because I've completely forgotten how to do that. I mean, I didn't forget. I was um, I I I, I completely forgot. Um, anything behind here? Ooh, there's another little river. Goodness, looks like there's ooh. Looks like there's a there's like a big snaking uh, pathway that goes behind here. This is most interesting. This is rather curious. Yeah. So when we get into this cavern here, 
that will of course uh, once we've blown up these these pieces here as well um sorry hang on a second. oh no sorry this there's, there's a weird sort of stain on the yellow there sorry i thought it was a weird um like air bubble there which was the most bizarre thing for a moment but um never mind i just managed to confuse myself by seeing something which wasn't even there but never mind me and my hallucinations let's um Let's carry on with actually playing the game and talking about it. So, um, yeah, once we mine through these bits here, or, or blow them out rather, and then we discover this bit, this intermediary wall here will fall down, which will give us a big shortcut. So, um, so that would be good. So, why have I not told anybody to mine, uh, mine through this? Yes, because it looks like this is going to run all the way along the back here, and then discover another little river over there, which is quite nice. It's quite exciting, it's like replaying the game for the very first time and discovering things uh, for the uh, for the first time. Reminds me of that question that seems to keep cropping up all over the internet at random intervals where, um, where people ask if you could pick any game to play for the first time, like play it over again with no prior knowledge, what would, um, what game would you pick? And I, I, I don't know, I always struggle answering that question because on the one hand, there are games that I'd love to re-explore, like, completely fresh and completely new again. Like, um, Fallout New Vegas, for example, which is a game I don't talk very much about, but, um, is a game I, I, I love and adore with all my heart, um, for innumerable reasons. Uh, but, um, on the one hand, I would like to sort of play that kind of game again, uh, for new, but if you're playing a game with no knowledge of it, you don't really know how to have a good time with it. Because I remember certain games like uh, playing Fallout and playing this uh, for the first time. That because I didn't really know how to play it, I didn't have as much fun with it as I did like the second or third time I played it. When I was a little bit more familiar with um, how to not immediately suck at everything. So, um, you know, having knowledge of you know how to combat the monsters, for example, or back to basics, for example. I, I dread to think how... How, how in the name of heckin' Hades am I meant to do this? <laughs> oh, well, I thought we were right near the end of this video, but apparently we've a little while to go yet. Um, I'm thinking probably a... Um, oh, I don't know. I was thinking a tunnel scout with a drill attachment. But then we would need an upgrade station for that. The other option would be getting a, uh, um, a rapid rider, if I could even speak. <coughs> Excuse me, I do sincerely apologise. I had a frog in my throat. The frog has been ejected now and everything is better. I have mined out everything else around here. I haven't missed any pieces of it. I've missed a piece there, which was rather silly of me. There might be a crystal in there. Um, yeah, let me quickly think about this. Let me think about some numbers for a second. I, I much prefer numbers to words. So that would require three to get it. And then I'd also need three for this, wouldn't I? Yeah, so that would require six. If I got the the docks, that would require two for that, for building the power station to power it. And then I'd also need... Uh, what does the rapid ride require? Two, so that would only be four. So four's a lot better than six, and I could in fact make that just two, but then I'd have to run a stupidly long bit of power path all the way back over here, which would be silly and take forever. So, um, we, I think we'll probably go for the rapid rider option, even though they won't be quite as flexible as using the tunnel scout. Because, um, obviously we'll only be able to mine out, the, mine out the bits which are directly next to it. Although, once we've done that, we can then have them jump out of the rapid rider and then, uh, and then go from there, so um, so that might be all right. What I might do, actually, is, uh, I'm just gonna wait for you to get a little closer to home, yeah. I'm gonna beam you up, and I'm gonna get a little digger instead. Uh, let me see, just get rid of that, there we go. Uh, you just drop that, please. Yes, indeed. Um, right, I do, could, could, go and do a little bit of drilling, my little, my little drillers here. Um, in fact, what I should also do is I shall make this track this for the sake of um, continuing to show you stuff I haven't shown you before. Where am I? Here am I. There we go. How's that? That is cool. Let me get the house on the screen as well, which would be even cooler. It's also going to third person to get a slightly better view of what we're doing. 
In fact, I've also just realised that we don't... <laughs> I'm a veteran of playing this game, I know what I'm talking about, I'm good at this, he says, not even looking at the map in order to figure out whether he needs a tunnel scout or a rapid rider, of which he needs neither, because of course I can just go around the edge here. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm really, really stupid, alright? Like, we've had the doctors in and everything, and nobody seems to be able to quite figure out why I'm real, real stupid, but, um, I, I am, and I apologise for that. Gideon, you must have been sitting there thinking, Phil, you do know that you don't need any of this, like, power station and docks and rapid rider or upgrade station and tunnel scout and drill attachments. You do know you don't need any of this random rubbish, don't you? <laughs> like, no, I didn't know. I was being stupid. I do... What the hell was that noise? That was a big scary noise. I thought the game was crashing for a second there. You're worried, mate. Um... Never mind. This is a perfectly adequate and far more cost-efficient method of doing this, so, um... I, uh, I, I apologise, we'll get on with it now and we'll stop being stupid. <laughs> ah, dear, oh dear, oh dear, um... Never mind. Um... I, 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 I suppose I should be completely frank and honest and upfront with you about, um... About something. So... Uh, I'm going to distract from the fact that I'm going to say stuff uh, by looking at the little cute wheels. It looks like it's dancing. That's adorable. Um, yeah, I should be completely frank and honest and open on that front with you about something. And that's that I'm a little bit worried about the future of this series because I'm a bit worried I'm going to run out of things to say. So to put it very bluntly uh, and very basically, um, obviously replaying the same levels with the same mechanics and stuff, there isn't all that much sort of new stuff for me to actually talk about. So I kind of worry that my commentary within these videos as we continue to do Bowser's Mod will stagnate a little bit and I'll kind of run out of things to say, uh, as it were, and uh, then it won't be uh, as much fun because I, I like to keep the, the editing of, of, of these, of all the videos, but these videos particularly, uh, very minimal and um, just to play the level and, and talk about it as we go through uh, it together rather than just talking when interesting stuff happens. I, I don't like that that form of commentary. I don't like it to be a kind of a highlights, if you like. Um, I'd much rather it just be a sort of a nice, natural flowing uh, conversation. Even though I think by definition a conversation is something which goes two ways. Hello, somebody has come to visit. Where are you going to sit? Are you going to try and sit on the keyboard like last time and be an absolute, absolute menace, or are you going to come and sit on my lap? Hang on a second. If you'll forgive me for a moment. You got slightly an, an eye full of something you weren't supposed to see there, and I sincerely apologise, but never mind. Let me get the cat out of the way, and then we'll carry on playing the game. So yeah, I, I, I do worry a little bit that my um, my commentary in these videos will uh, will stagnate uh, a little bit, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. So I am trying to uh, come up with uh, random bizarre things that we can talk about as we go through this. Um, which is sort of slightly one of the reasons why I want to do these videos a little bit further apart. Hello. I want to do these videos a little bit further apart than, um, than doing them, say, every every other week uh, or, or whatever. Because um, I kind of need a few weeks in between to come up with things to talk about, uh, rather than just relying on, on thinking on the fly. What have we discovered? We have discovered goodness. We have discovered a lot of crystals. I love that all of these crystals are right here, which are like one or two uh, wall tiles away from being accessible uh, at the very beginning of the game. Would you stop bumping into the microphone, please? I apologize for strange noises are coming over the airwaves. Um, I, uh, I I like that they put those crystals there to sort of tease you. As if to say, yeah, there's crystals right next to where you start, but we're not going to give them to you. We're going to make you work for them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, sort of, uh, I need a bit of time in between videos to kind of come up with new things to talk about. Whether that's, um, whether that's talking about the, like, the, the PS1 version, uh, project that I'd like to work on. Now the cat has started to sit on the desk, which means about 30% of the screen is being obscured from me. My kitty. I know it's the middle of summer, but could you please stop molting quite so much? Okie dokie then, I think we have... Oh, goodness! There's even more over there. Goodness! This place is absolutely chock-a-block full of them! This is excellent. Would, would, you, would, would you not bite the microphone, Kate? If you do that and the microphone stops working, I'm going to get immensely cross with you. 
just sit and settle and be good. There we are. Man alive, this place is full of them. <laughs> I like that. They're very, um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The little crystals are very cute and attractive. Um, very cute and attractive little design. Okay then, I reckon we've mined out pretty much everything. So let me drive this back to base camp. Get down poor Axel with no face. <laughs> Poor Axel with no face. Let me beam that up. And then we'll uh, set that to built. There we are. Let's get rid of that. 47 crystals. Matt, live. Oh, wow. That is a great big area that we've mined out. Um, that is rather cute. That's rather nice. I feel like we're going to need a couple of trucks now. So um, I might... Um, if you'd stop pushing your arse into the microphone, I reckon everybody listening would appreciate it, you small mischievous guy. Maybe this is a way of making the uh, the videos a little bit more uh, sort of novel and uh, give me more to talk about. I just have a small mischievous cat in the way. Please. I love you, but you're made of mischief. Kindly stop being made of mischief. Um, I don't know. Right, let us build this, and then I think we will stop before this little uh, madam here prevent or causes any more uh, causes any more chaos. Let me put you in a truck as well, because I do want to gather up all the crystals, because uh, I don't want to leave any behind. <laughs> I remember when uh, when I was playing the original game, and I'd always try to just mine out the exact number that I uh, that I would need. And uh, not anymore, because it always made me very sad if you got to say 50 crystals, and then crystal 51 was being walked uh, walked up along here, and um, you kind of all beamed out, and then you sort of uh, left it behind, and it was just sort of left sitting there on the ground with nobody to collect it, and it seemed awful. Like <laughs> I don't know, leaving a child behind or something. Absolutely awful. But never mind. I don't know what's up with this hugely girthy. Uh, little platform this has gotten constructed on, but um, no, I don't really feel like that's quite necessary. I feel like this could go down quite a good bit and uh, and it wouldn't matter, but never mind. Um, shall I do a bit of, shall I do a bit of, um, bit of work instead of standing around like some sort of micromanaging muppet? Actually do a bit of, um, do a bit of picking things up and driving them around and stuff, because I think that's, um, I think that's slightly, uh, slightly more visually interesting. Because I guess that's another thing we could do to try and make the, uh, the Baz Mod video is a bit more different because I'm painfully aware, not just for the sake of. Did, did, did they go in? Yeah, they did. Good. Thank you. Um, not just for the sake of my commentary, but also for the sake of things remaining sort of novel and interesting for you. Because uh, obviously these levels are mm, quite similar to the uh, videos on the main campaign that we've already done. It's not like the custom levels. Videos where the levels are completely. Um, completely novel. So, um. Perhaps sort of playing more of the levels in the sort of first person way rather than the sort of top down uh, management way could be uh, could be an interesting way of trying to um, thank you. could be an interesting way of uh, of making things a little bit more different and I'll try to play the levels in slightly different ways uh, than I would have um, before if I can ever think of ways of doing that so um, I shall do my best to make things as sort of different and as novel and um, think in advance of things to talk about. So that, uh, so that I don't run out of stuff, but I just wanted to be completely frank and honest with you about that. Um, I was meaning to talk about that in the annual talking video, but I slightly forgot, given that there was so much bloody yammering going on in there. That was another reason I wanted to mention um, potentially doing videos on the original LEGO Rock Raiders and also uh, doing uh, the PS1 version in, in this video. I'll probably also mention in the next Baz Mod video as well, for, just for the sake of it. Um, just so that everyone has an opportunity to hear. Um, uh, unless a decision has already been made by that point, in which case then, um, in which case uh, I'll, I'll, well, I, I, shall, I, shall, I, shall, I shall tell you, that's what I shall do. Um, yeah, obviously I, <laughs> I should preface this, I don't expect uh, anybody to actually um, get uh, far enough through that, that, that ridiculously, stupidly, pathetically long video to actually hear what I was saying about the PS1 version, so um, so uh, yeah, I thought I'd say it here because people might actually get this far into a video. But never mind. I reckon we've got the last few crystals coming in here from uh, from uh, from from docks here. 
Thank you for explaining that. Um, sorry, it keeps throwing me off the fact that he's called Docs. Because my mind, Docs in this game has always been associated with. I said immensely quietly. Because um, of course the, the the little individual uh, characters here were just uh, just sort of present in the cutscenes rather than uh, than anywhere else. So. Um, I never really associated their names very much, which is why I sometimes forget them like a stupid face, but never mind. Um, I think that is about enough. I reckon we have um, we've cleared this place out pretty well, and uh, yeah, I, I really like the, the, the little expansions that the um, each of the individual levels have, and you've got your core mission that you're, you're familiar with, and then you've got some little uh, little odds and ends around the, the around the outskirts, which are fun to explore and go and look at. And, uh, they seem to be put together very carefully and really rather strategically, at least in terms of the, the crystal placement and things like that. So uh, I reckon that's about enough. We haven't exactly strip mined this place, but um, it doesn't matter. We shall leave all these little Maltesers here on the floor and we shall go home. Well done. You built a support station before you ran out of air. Mission complete. Excellent. New readings from the Geological Center will prove very useful. I, I, I do hope so. So indeed. Right then, so there's a couple more missions done. Uh, so what have we got for next time? Rubble trouble. Indeed. <laughs> so apparently this is the one I was supposed to play uh, before we played either of these, but uh, never mind. Because um, I think I mentioned this last time, but I can't remember if I did or not. Um, so originally when I was planning on doing the Basmod levels, uh, the somebody went through sort of recreating each of the Basmod levels within a within sort of custom levels, if you like, which you can then uh, download and then uh, implement into your game by popping them in this file here to um, uh, to play them. But then by the time I actually got around to it, of course, the main uh, the the Baz campaign had actually come along with the release candidate. So um, yeah, where possible, I will use this to inform what order I'm supposed to do the missions in. But um, I'm beginning to wonder whether these are just designed. That you go along, um, sort of like this, and then you go sort of down and around, and then you go sort of along there. Um, perhaps, perhaps yes, perhaps no. Perhaps I have near bold is what I'm talking about. But um, anyway, that's, that's more than enough for um, for another four or five or six weeks or however long these um, these be between. Uh, so um, yeah, I, I I really enjoy uh, going through these bad bad mod levels. I think um, I think they're very nicely put together. I think they're very. Are you coming back for another sit? Come on then. Come on. No, don't sit on the keyboard. No, if you sit on the keyboard and you press the button that turns the recording off, I shall get very cross. Um, yeah, I think they're very competently put together. Uh, they're obviously put together with a lot of care and a lot of love from uh, from people that actually enjoy. Um, enjoy this game as much as I do, if it's even possible for anybody to be as. Um, chemically addicted to this as I am. But anyway, I shall stop yammering on and I shall uh, <laughs> I shall let you get on with the rest of your life now. So um, thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen, for a bit more of Bazmod. I hope you've enjoyed it. Could you not stand on the keyboard? Now, if you press the space bar and the M button, which I don't think are related to anything recording-wise, I hope not anyway. Um, uh, thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, look after each other and good night.